Good day everybody, it's your boy Crispy T and I'm back. So yes, um a prophecy is fulfilled. So check this out on the um there's an ENCA report regarding the Cape Town sell-off and um the purposes of this update really is just to keep you updated in in terms of the movement of the spirit and what's actually about to happen. And um now they're talking all this fluffy stuff about um, disconnecting the grid and everything else. And the, 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 the truth is, is this, is that, and I heard this from a, um, there's a particular video um, and uh, another YouTuber I got it from who used to actually work for ASCOM. And he says, um, you know, it's not as simple as just disconnecting from ASCOM and going to independent power producers. And the thing is, the truth is this, these alternative energy solutions, and I mean alternative in sense of, yes, they're marketing them as green energy, for one. And secondly, they're not going to be as um, affordable as it is because um, the thing is, what is happening with ESCOM now, we had an abundant amount of coal here in South Africa. So with this abundance of coal and, um, and why it's actually so uh, it, it, it's so abundant is because it makes things everything else cheap so the solutions really is um is going to be more so on the rare side of things meaning that there might not be an actual excess amount of electricity to um go around for everybody when once we disconnect and move away from coal so it's going to it's only going to make things more expensive for everybody else to function and um and this is why I also tied this in that when that initial prophecy that I gave in uh, in episode in, sorry not in episode two but the second update to episode two, where I spoke about the fact that there was a light of revival happening around Cape Town, and if um, you were not within the uh, the light and everything else, then I also believe that. Um, Things you will be left behind, as in the body of um, Christ, and uh, and uh, as Jesus Christ is the light, the life, and the way, right to God. Okay, so if you're not connected to Jesus, right, you will not be able to literally light up your house. And this is something you're going to see in South Africa that um, there's going to be a great watershed moment, a great separation is happening. That either you're moving with Jesus and you're moving within the light of righteousness or you're going to get left behind so yeah this is literally about fellowship of lightness versus the fellowship of darkness so guys please 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 um get back to God and um connect to you know through Christ Jesus his loving son get to know him because um if you don't get to know him then um he won't get to know you, and then he'll deny you everything. But that's not why I'm even saying why you should get to know him. Because I'm saying get to know him because he's so awesome. Um, and I've had my experiences, like I've said, um, regarding Jesus. And, yeah, I've, um, it's it's documented now. And uh, I continue to get messages. So, you know, this is not to say that I'm trying to act like I'm above everybody. No, if anything, um, there's a reason why Jesus had taught me because... I'm already kind of a communicative person. I'm sure they knew how exactly I was going to turn out and what kind of person I am. But anyway, um, they, you know, as far as when I say they, I'm talking about um, Jesus and his father, you know, the almighty God. So, yeah, the, the plan is people get to know, get to know. Is And I'm like, if someone like me can access Jesus, then there's no excuse for you. Uh, you know what I mean? And that's exactly what this is all about. And as far as my ministry and my appointment and my anointment in this, um, as just a communicator and as a somebody who's the messenger of the council in heaven. So pe people, please um, just make sure you power up your houses and um, by powering up yourself with prayer and connecting through the almighty God and Jesus, man, because... As you can see, things are going to get tough, and I'm thinking, and I'm like I explained to you, because of the fact that there's a transition away from coal-powered energy, and it's only going to make things more expensive. So if you really don't have the bucks, literally, to power yourself up, you're going to struggle. And yes, yeah, so um, 
operate within the body of Christ and um, get your functions, get your purposes right. You know, um, some of you may need to be called in other places of the world. You may not even have to be in South Africa. And um, and not to say that other th- it's, it's not happening elsewhere. Oh, yes, yeah, this whole rolling blackout thing, it's happening in the USA. It's happening in the first world. It is happening everywhere. So people are just emigrating thinking, oh, it's just a solution. It's just to go to the first world. Nah, 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 nah. The sell-off, if anything, is a big international collusion. There's a whole lot of things happening, which I will get into in, an, in another, in my next episode of Calling of a Revenue Spurred, as in not an update, but a next episode. So, yes, um, please, guys, it's very, very important that you understand what you need to do because your instructions are only going to come from Christ Jesus himself. And I'm talking husbands connect to um, Jesus as the body of the church because the family is the church in itself and the church also resides with resides within your heart first so yes you know the, you know the order of God husband of a wife wife of a children and that's just how it is and um, and husband and everybody else being in submission to the Lord Jesus Christ so guys do things properly and all these girlfriends boyfriends I'm talking to you guys trying to live in together. I'm telling you now, if you're not doing things Christ's way and getting centered or your family around that, how about, like my man Lil Wayne has his second album, Lights Out. (laughs) I'm out. Cheers, people. Bye-bye.